Welcome guys. Well, I'm finally getting around to painting those wheels. Uh, they're not really ugly, but they're red and they don't really match the car. So I finally uh, got some paint. I decided on a color and uh, I'm gonna get to painting them today. Of course, as you can see, they're red and uh, they ain't really too bad looking, but you see, I think a toddler decided they wanted the wheels blue and painted on them. At least that's what I was told from the previous owner. I don't know, but uh, just need to wipe them off real good. And the color that I decided to go with, a flat aluminum color. So all the red, except for here, I'm not gonna worry about that because that's not gonna be seen. But all that's gonna be flat aluminum with the polished lip, I think it's gonna look pretty good. And a lot of people was asking me what paint I'm gonna use. Believe it or not, I'm gonna use paint that's made for headers. Simply because this stuff is strong, it's durable, and it doesn't fade. Obviously it doesn't fade, it's like 2,000 degree paint. So, ought to do pretty good. So I gotta wipe some dust off of it and then I'll get started. All right, nice little layer of paint on the back of it, and the inside of it. And uh, it doesn't even look too bad, and that's only yeah, the first couple of light coats. So, ain't too bad at all. Not bad for a little, uh, what do you want to call, half-assing or whatever. Not really the best way to do it, but you know what? I'm going to make it work. All right, so you can see, got all the backs of them done. All right. And it don't look too bad. Let's see if I can't get some close-ups and, uh, you know, really for spray paint, it's not too bad. As you can see, the wheels, I mean, you know, they got curb rash on the fronts and the backs. Let's see. Of course, you know that custom blue paint there. You know, they got divots and everything else in the, in the polished. I'm not sure if you can see all that. You know, all the curb rash going on. You know, I'm certainly not going to spend a ton of money to fix these wheels up. Painting the front side, and it ought to go pretty good. I got a pretty cool little technique I'll show you. All right, so here's my technically half ass technique. All right, see, got the little lip right here. Obviously, I don't want none of this painted. I don't want none of that paint. Just the red and the blue in this situation. So. Well, I'm gonna to have to do a little bit of bending on this, especially right there so it'll fit right, but as you can see, I just put this nice little wall thing up around here, and all I gotta do is get in there and spray. It won't get anything on the outside, so less cleaning for me. <laughs> right, there we go. Kinda perfect. All right, so we're ready to rock. All right, as you can see, got them all painted up. Don't look too bad, I reckon. Not bad at all for rattle cans. Header paint. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Uh, basically a half uh, donkey way of painting a set of wheels, but hey, it works. I've seen it done before and uh, you're gonna be able to tell that they've been spray painted but they're gonna look a lot better silver on the car than uh, being red like that and uh, let me just explain why I'm kind of you know half-assing this uh, the paint on these wheels I paid 75 bucks for these wheels as you can see you know they're all scarred up everywhere I'm hoping that they're actually all four of them are straight because I don't know because the car that came off of the guy rooting and tore like crazy and uh, didn't take care of a thing. So um, I'm hoping they're all straight. Uh, no more than I what I drive the car, I'm just gonna put some cheap tires on it. Um, you know, on these wheels, uh, cause I mean, I'm lucky if I put 500 miles a year on the car and change the oil three times actually. <laughs> but I'll take good care of the engine. But uh, so I really didn't wanna pay all the money to have them powder coated and put some real 
nice uh, expensive tires and things like that on there I mean what's the point if I'm gonna do that I might as well throw down eight hundred dollars on a brand new set of wheels and tires which I would like to do but you know as I said in one of my previous videos the car is a budget build it's always been a budget build and I've had to uh, basically fabricate a lot of things on that car to make work and everything has turned out great everything works and this just kind of adds to it. Now, now the wheels are my own thing. I did them myself. Um, of course, I've got I've got a black set of lug nuts, so, and I've also got um, I got to get center. I got to get the little center caps for because the ones that were on it, the, the XXR ones, wouldn't you know it? I have one that broke. So, yeah. So. Um, but the lug nuts are black, and as you can see in the holes of the lug nuts, uh, you know, there's a little bit of red still showing through there. So I'm hoping the lug nuts will kind of hide that a little bit, especially with them being black. Um, and then for the rivets uh, going around the wheels, um, every single wheel was missing one. And they were old and, you know, cracked up, and, you know, some of the chrome has peeled off of them, so they were turning black, you know, like plastic chrome pieces will do. So they look like crap, so I took them out. Um, and I got hooked up with sixspeed.com, which I'll, I'll put a link to their website in the description. Um, they actually have all of those um, those uh, rivets for these wheels. And shoot, they I, I don't know how many different colors and combinations and things that they have, but they have a ton. They got some with spikes on them. They got some that are just regular. Um, now what I got was just the regular chrome ones, they, they look identical to the ones that come in from the factory. Um, so I got those and they come in a pack of a hundred. Um, I can't remember the price of them, but they're actually pretty cheap, they're not too bad. Um, but of course I got those and now I'm thinking with the black lug nuts, now that I got to get center caps, I was thinking to get their, uh, their cone center caps that are black. So I'm thinking I might go ahead and buy rivets again and get black rivets. Um, so I think that will that will go good and that'll kind of go good with the carbon fiber hood and the fender flares that I'm going to put on the car are going to be black. They're going to be like a wrinkled black paint. So uh, that way uh, everything looks good. Everything kind of fits together and everything matches. And everything. So uh, just a little insight why I you know cheaped out and just spray painted with uh, you know header paint. Well, like I said, header paint. It's tough, it's durable, you know, it'll last, uh, believe it or not, it'll actually outlast, you know, actual wheel paint on wheels because the stuff is rugged and it's tough. So, and I'll also give you, you know, this is like, a, um, I think this is aluminum fascia for a home. That's all this is. I just rolled it up to fit the circle that I needed, put it in there, and it works good. And as you can see, I didn't get no paint anywhere where I didn't want to get paint, so. It worked out pretty good. All right, that about wraps it up. I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, if you like this video, why don't you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, maybe hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, and uh, the next thing to come is uh, I'm gonna put the rivets on and then we're gonna go for tires. So we'll see you in the next video.